Okay, I've decided to make one last video here. I've had some more questions on the science project, so I'll go in a little bit more detail. The post-it note is just uh, to remind me of what I have to left to do with my nephew. I still have to make a backboard for it and make some labels and whatnot, uh, tie up some of the wires. The horn strobe, the, now the horn is actually a Wheelock 12-volt horn. The reason I did that, uh, somebody else actually pointed that out, so that was a good eye on that, um, is that the simplex horn was 24 volts and that 12 volt battery uh that's on that i'll show you in a minute just couldn't do it and uh if you use a 12 volt power supply it'll run some of that 24 volt stuff but the battery just doesn't have enough juice doesn't it just doesn't produce enough current to do that and do the flasher and the relay and everything else pull station is just a dual action simplex t-bar um i don't really bother with the model numbers because i think that's just pushing it too far it's just uh i don't really know what it was i guess 2099 something or other um, and this, I got, and I got all this stuff off of eBay, including this uh, Trouble Bell silence panel. I still have to label, change the labels on it. Um, on this side, there was actually a yellow light and, a, and another switch, um, which I took out and replaced with 12 volt Radio Shack bulbs. And uh, like I said, I'm going to put some labels on there so that makes more sense. Basically, the way this thing works is you got your 12 volt battery. I don't recommend this. If you build one of these yourself, use a 12-volt power supply. Just the uh, parameters of the science project said no AC power. This is just the main power switch, so if we turn this on, it just gives power to the whole thing, and that's just wired directly to the battery, the power light. Uh, when you pull it, when you activate it, it sends 12 volts uh, actually this way to the alarm light over here, and then up to the to the flasher as well as directly to the strobe light. From the flasher, it goes to the relay because you need a relay. I needed to put a relay in there, otherwise it was just it was just crapping out on me. There wasn't enough juice to separate the current flow. And the output of the relay goes through the silent switch and then up to the horn. So that way, when it gets set off, uh, I can silence the horn. Now what happens when I set this off? The flasher switch actually goes to a dead short when it flashes. It actually turns everything on and off. I'm not really sure why that happened. Um, technically, these things are supposed to be wired in line, although I f have a feeling that they're current they're, 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 uh, current dependent. They're designed to flash a certain current rating of light bulbs in a car, and if, they don't, and if they don't have that current rating, they don't work properly. So I think I may actually have it connected wrong. I'm not sure. Maybe some of you have more of an idea about how that works. But it does work in this case. So when I set it off... Okay... <laughs> Flasher warms up and it starts flashing. The strobe light works. So this is flashing, kicking the relay on and off through the silence switch, which I'll silence it now. And you can still hear it going. This is flashing, kicking the relay on and off, and actually kicking the whole circuit on and off, like I said before. And uh, I put the silence switch there, obviously, because a fire alarm system has it has a silence as well as the fact that it is in a school and we don't want anybody thinking there's a real fire i still haven't really figured out how i'm going to deal with the school on that one yet uh but uh that's pretty much it so i figured i'd give you a better description and here it is Bye bye